And it's kind of when when the blood circulation it doesn't flowing real good, so that area it doesn't feel <coughs> sensitive. So when you when you slightly pull it off, you press, it's not gonna hurt. So you go the same way, you are doing the same thing. Even when you're doing the whack, it's the same way. You do like that, you press, and then you pull and you press. They don't feel anything. But if you just leave it, sh it's going to hurt. So that is on the peeling mask. Mm -hmm. So don't try to go into customer's skin and then try to scratch when your hand is, is not kind of damp or wet. Because when you have it a little wet, then you can very easy to roll it up. But if you try to, you try to peel, you try to get a little piece, then you might pinch your customer's skin. Okay, and that's not professional. All right, that's on the peel mask. Okay, um, on the face lift mask mm -hmm. that I already talked before. Um, it's going to be very hard. It pulls. It makes your face really hot like that. You couldn't even move your lips. So on that mask, it's the best way. This is for professional use only. Um, most of the time, if you want to use at home, then you have to get ready to have a little bowl of um, steaming water. When it gets real hard, to be removing that mask. Mm -hmm. A lot of people just get the wet sponge and do like that and then the towel and all like that. You can do two ways. Okay, I will show you two ways of removing your, um, it's called face lip mask. Okay. And this is, it stick to the skin. It's really, it's really stick to the skin really good. Because it's real lifting and, and stretching your skin, so that's why it's firming up your skin. Okay, so the first thing you do is the towel, a big towel like this, warm towel, but it's a little, you know, uh, it's not too dry. Put it on. Remember how we put it on um, the face when we're doing uh, steam? We put it on like this, okay, and you hold. You hold right there. It's still taking them some time. It's probably taking two or three minutes, and then you have to do it again before you can remove. And it's still, you still have to remove it again. And this way, it's okay. I don't like it very much. What I do is when I was in the um, clinic, the spa, I turn on the steam, steamer. Now you turn on the steam, put it on her face, for what? Maybe two minutes. And then sponge, you clean. It's all coming off real easy. That's it. You don't take it in one step? Not on that mask. That mask, you cannot peel it off. Oh. You cannot peel it off. But this you mask, it's not, it's not a, a peel mask. Mm -hmm. Every peel mask, I already <coughs> tell you before that, you know, when gel or peel, anything that's peeled, that's how we do it, peel. But on the face lip mask, it's the product that uh, we're using the liquid activator, mix it up, you put it on, and it's hard. It's ma it, you, your face, you cannot even smell. Mm -hmm. And um, that, just that mask by itself is like $45. Can you use like a gauze first and then yeah. put a mask and then remove You it? can't not remove No. Uh, you will tearing off her skin because this kind of mask, you have to remove it with moisture. Okay. okay. Now you know you have to remove with moisture. So put a little steam on because sometimes it's your first time, it's going to be hard. You go, you know. Okay, so don't try to do that. Steam, 